Hi there! This is a video of my Berlin sketchbook. We went on a field trip to Berlin for about four days with my art class and um, I just took along one small sketchbook like this. Just a sea white of Brighton one. And this is what I came back with. Just got some elastic on the back to hold the cover shut. And I've covered it with posters that I tore down um, where they're already falling down on the walls in the street. Okay, I started right from from being on the plane, drawing somebody that was slumped over on their seat. The back of the ear hostess's skirt. And then drawing the queue to the toilet once we landed. <laughs> Impressions of the airport when we arrived. It seemed to have an awful lot of fluorescent yellow signs and um, symbols. And of course I couldn't understand most of the words because they were German. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. I started gluing um, and sticking any street stickers that I found onto the pages as I went. This is a drawing of some art that I saw. We went to a lot of exhibitions, as you can imagine, with the art school. So I tried to draw as much as I could while I was there. Um, I also took impressions of any um, interesting textures that I saw on the street by pressing plasticine against them to make the marks on the plasticine, then pressing them into an ink pad and stamping them into my book. So that's what I've done here, and then I've drawn on the top. Um, before I started, I had already collaged into all of the pages, just as a, a starting point. This is the one I didn't use. So I'm using it as a regular sketchbook. But yeah, I just painted and stuck on some um, pieces of paper torn from a vintage German English dictionary. I kind of chose neutral colours um, and perhaps like sky tones because I thought those would be easier to, to blend in with anything I wanted to draw and it actually worked out really well. When I took my book along to Berlin I just had it pretty much like this and then I had this envelope in the back which I stuck a lot of little bits and pieces that I thought I might like to use on the way. Bits of masking tape and googly eyes and oh, all kinds of little things. Anyway, so more art by the same artist drawn onto this page. And a drawing of the giant fish tank at the Radisson Hotel. We just stopped in for a drink. And impressions of the fish. And this is a rubbing taken from plaque on the Jewish memorial. And a street sticker. And various ephemera. And then I've drawn some Andy Warhol art on this page. I really like this page. This is art by Joseph Boyce. And also some quotes that I... Um, that really spoke to me. Um, thinking forms how we should mould our thoughts. Spoken forms how we mould our yeah how we mould our thoughts into words. Social sculpture how we mould and shape the world in which we live. Sculptures are an evolutionary process. Everyone is an artist. That is why work is not fixed and finished. Everything is in a ch state of change. I really like that. These are some more stamped impressions from the street. Um, once again, if I see an interesting pattern like this, the spiral. I think this was on a, on a cast iron gate. I pressed the plasticine against it until I got a really nice impression, then rubbed it onto my ink pad and then stamped it in my book. And I really like this page, it's come together really well. And all it is is impressions and this meandering line that's kind of symbolising my journey down the street from here to there. 
drawing some more arts. And um, it's another, another drawing of art and then I copied this, this phrase from a postcard. This I really love, um, not so much because of the way it looks but because I feel like a, I have an actual piece of art because I took a rubbing from the faces, the metal faces in the Berlin Jewish Museum and you know it means that I've got something that's the exact size and shape of, of the art, it just really pleases me. I drew into some tea bags which I then I opened them out and then drew into them. I think it looks really interesting. It's a mural from an art gallery that we saw that had googly eyes and luckily I had my googly eyes in my envelope. And these little marks here are impressions taken from the street. The rest of it is a drawing of some art that we saw in a gallery. And this I bought a little um, piece of the Berlin Wall and I stuck it into this peanut packet that seemed to go really nicely. I like how it says Liberation on the top. Um, I found some posters which had been spray painted, kind of half hanging off this um, kind of rubbishy area around the back. So I felt okay taking them because they weren't like a fixed piece of street art or anything. They were already falling down onto the ground. So I tore them off and stuck them in my book as a collage. And I really love how this page turned out. Small collage of ephemera that I found. And this is a photograph of um, the East Side Gallery, which is part of the Berlin Wall, which is still standing. And then I inserted a printout of some art that I did at the Jackson Pollock exhibition at the Kunsthal. Oops, a bit hard to hope it hold it open with one hand. But I really like how that page turned out. And I had some spray painted masking tape on me to stick it all down with. And this is another piece of poster that I've, I've found and then I've um, drawn some art that I saw onto it. A uh, Robert Rauschenberg um, collage that I really liked. So I drew it with a um, little bit of acrylic, white acrylic paint and then I used some watercolour crayons on the top. And this was just collage of torn off posters which I really like so I just left it as it is. I already had all of this this collaged area um, which I took in the book with me and again this one I don't feel is finished but I don't really know what to do with it so I've left it like that. I think it's okay though I'm happy enough with it. This I absolutely love. Um, I saw this really stylish elderly gentleman so I drew him and um, I drew him onto these these posters and stuck them in my book. And this is another drawing of some art that I saw which I really loved and I drew it directly onto the posters and then stuck them in my book. And that's it. And here's a photo of our class on the steps of the Hamburger Bahnhof Museum. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it.